Hi students. So um, this is your week two um, little overview. I'm going to keep it really simple this week. Um, we still have people joining the class. I don't want people to get too far behind. Um, and this week is a stressful and complicated week. Um, I've heard from some of my students already that they're having trouble focusing. Um, once we're past the inauguration, um, I'm hoping that everything will come down and week three will be better. Um, so in week three, we're going to start kind of more actively doing the work of the class in terms of um, doing lots of writing exercises, reading um, stories from the anthology, and um, you're going to be leading little analyses of them. For right now, you should just be writing basically. Um, I think all I'm going to ask you to do this week is keep writing, aim for at least a thousand words. If you can do more, that's great. I will have co-writing again on Saturday from 10 to 1. If anyone wants to stop by, that can be really helpful and productive. And I'm just looking at the syllabus to see if there's anything. Um, all right, and I think if, you, if you're behind on anything, please catch up. Um, you were supposed to do an intro, a one-page summary of where you are in your writing. Uh, and you're supposed to put in a page of writing you love in the week one journals channels um, and a few sentences discussing it. So the, the one other thing I'm going to ask you all to do this week is to read through the things that your classmates have posted and write three responses um, to some of that other text. Ideally, you want to start thinking like a writer as you approach these, so as opposed to a reader. So really focusing in on aspects of craft. That could be things like plotting, language, point of view, um, scene, uh, setting, um, structural. There's, and these are, these are excerpts, so you won't be able to do the kind of analysis you could do on a full story. Um, but there should be something that you can talk about. The exercise that we did in class on Wednesday was a language related one. Next week, um, we're going to do chapters one through three out of Le Guin. So you're going to do that exercise again with a little more time. So if you have the book already and you want to start working ahead, you can do that too. You can read those chapters and you can start doing those exercises. We're going to put them up on Facebook on the, sorry, on the Slack and have, um, and you'll comment and give feedback on each other's. Uh, generally for the exercises, we're not gonna be approaching it in a critique mind. It'll be more praise oriented. What do you note that people are doing that you like? What, what did they, what's interesting? Um, what caught your attention? What would make you wanna keep reading? Um, all of that is worth paying attention to and noting and telling your classmates because um, if you sign up for this class, probably you are already writing something well. You're doing some aspect of writing well, and that's, that's why you're interested in this, right? Uh, what we're hoping to do is uh, make that visible to you. It may not be yet, and give you a little more control and command over it. So, I think that's it. I'm going to try and give you um, recommendations for other things you can read uh, as we do this. So uh, if you are looking for, this is totally optional, but if you're looking for more writing support at this point, um, I recommend, um, I think I mentioned it last time, but in case I didn't, Bird by Bird by Anne Lamott and Stephen King's On Writing. Those are both great texts. For writers, I found them really helpful when I was a new writer. So hopefully helpful to you as well. And I will have more suggestions going forward. That's it. I will see you all on Wednesday.